In DDD, the pertinent elements of an entity are continuity and identity in the domain model itself. For instance, an entity might not be an entity throughout different business contexts. Typically, an entity will have an immutable ID. Defining an entity means that multiple implementations of the object would still refer to the same thing. The typical example you will find is that if, say, Harry, the CTO from Awesome Transactions Limited, is referenced in two different places of the system, say in a user database, he is still the same person. Whereas if an object, such as an amount of money, say $1,000, exists in two different places, it does not really have an identity so it can be referred to as a value object. It isn't always easy to differentiate between entities and value objects. In reality, this also depends on the business context. However, if you are having trouble identifying these, you can ask yourself the following questions. Do two similar objects, like a person, need to be distinguishable? If so, then they're an entity. If you have two instances of the same object, ask yourself, can one replace the other? If so, then they're a value object. If not, then they're probably an entity. For example, two people with the same name are still two different people. However, two $10 bills can replace each other, so they're probably referenced as a value object. Is there a unique ID for the object? If so, it's probably an entity. Most importantly, remember that entities are mutable and value objects aren't.